Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Friday story time. I'm so happy to see all of you this week, and I hope you've all been doing very well. We have a couple more stories today that have to do with things that begin with the letter M. We talked about the letter M last week, didn't we? What sound does the letter M make? Do you remember? Mmm. It makes the mmm sound, like you're eating delicious soup. Well, in our stories today, we have a couple more M words, but one of them we've already seen before. Do you remember what one of our stories was about last week? What animal? That's right, we read a story about some very silly monkeys, didn't we? And we're going to read another story about another silly monkey today. So let's get started with our first story. We're going to read Mr. Monkey Bakes a Cake by Jeff Mack. This story is being read aloud with permission from Simon and Schuster. Mr. Monkey Bakes a Cake. Uh, do you know some of the sounds that monkeys make? We might need them for this story. Woo! Can you make the woo sound? Every time we see woo, let's make that monkey sound together. He adds sugar. Woo! He adds an egg. Ooh, he adds bananas. Oops, that's a lot of bananas for one cake, huh? Let's see what else Mr. Monkey will do. That's okay, Monkey likes bananas. Yum, he says. Mr. Monkey mixes the cake. Yum, again. Mr. Monkey bakes the cake. Yum. Mr. Monkey frosts the cake. He says yum three times. Let's say yum together three times. Yum, yum, yum. Good job, Mr. Monkey. Now you can eat your cake. Oh, that's my favorite part of making a cake. Oh no, Mr. Monkey ate too many bananas. Yuck, oh, he probably has a tummy ache. That's okay, Mr. Monkey has a new plan for his cake. Ooh! Can you tell what's happening in this picture? He's gonna enter his cake into a cake show. Mr. Monkey wants to win that ribbon, but first, how about one more banana? Yum. Grrr, his tummy says. Mr. Monkey saves the banana for later. Good idea. Mr. Monkey walks to the cake show. He walks. And he walks. Look out, Mr. Monkey. Oops. What do you think is going to happen to Mr. Monkey's cake? Oh, he, he managed to hang on to it, it looks like. Mr. Monkey waits. He waits. And he waits. Walk, Mr. Monkey. What does he say? Ooh. Oops. Wait, Mr. Monkey. Oh no, it looks like traffic is coming. Run, Mr. Monkey. Jump, Mr. Monkey. Dive, Mr. Monkey. Nice catch, Mr. Monkey. Uh-oh, more trouble. Ooh. Eek. Cake is safe. Oh, he managed to scare off the bird. It wanted to eat his cake. Uh-oh, what's happening in this page? 
looks like Mr. Monkey uh, has of bird enemies, huh? <laughs> There's a whole flock of birds now. What are the birds saying? Eek, 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 eek. Or is it? Eek, eek, eek. Mr. Monkey runs. Mr. Monkey hides. The cake is safe. Or is it? Grr. Mr. Monkey runs. Mr. Monkey hides. Grr. The cake is safe. Grr. Or is it? Oh, a bigger grr. What do you think is in the cage? Grr. Mr. Monkey runs. Eek! Mr. Monkey hides. Ooh. Mr. Monkey arrives at the cake show. It wasn't easy, but the cake is safe. Ooh, ooh. Oof. Oh no, what happened to Mr. Monkey? He got stuck behind the door. Do you think he's gonna catch the cake? Let's find out. Mr. Monkey is in luck. Oh, the cake is still safe. Ooh, it's time to win that ribbon. I hope he wins it after all this trouble. Can we say ooh as a monkey three more times? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, the cake show is over. Everyone already won a ribbon. Everyone but Mr. Monkey. Ooh. Poor Mr. Monkey, how could this day get any worse? Hmm, who do we have in the window here? Grr. Eek! Oh no, what's gonna happen next? Run, Mr. Monkey, run! Eek! Hide, Mr. Monkey, hide! Eek! Mr. Monkey is trapped. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. Grr. What will he do? Ooh. Ah, oh, the banana he saved for later. Good idea. Gorillas like bananas too. Yum. Look, Mr. Monkey has a new friend. And a ribbon. Three more oohs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But wait, now someone else doesn't have a ribbon. Ah, good job, Mr. Monkey. Now you can have your cake and eat it too. Oof. Poor Mr. Monkey, he sure had a tough time with his cake when he was baking it and trying to get it to that cake show, huh? <laughs> Do you want to play a game with some monsters? They're not very scary monsters, but you know what? They need to go to sleep. They've been up for too long. Do you want to help me try and put them to sleep? We have different colored monsters and we're going to count them as we go. What color is this monster? Pink. This monster is red. Blue, green, and a yellow monster. He's got a funny mouth. I like him the most, I think. Time for monsters to rest their head. Let's put the red monster to bed. Red to bed. This bed's not very big. Hmm, it might get kind of crowded. How many monsters are in bed now? One monster in bed resting their head. Time for monsters to rest their head. 
Let's put the blue monster to bed. Which one's the blue monster? This is the blue monster. How many monsters are in bed now? One, two. Two monsters in bed. Let's put the green monster to bed. Which one's the green monster? This one. How many monsters in bed now? One, two, three. Three monsters in bed resting their head. Time for monsters to rest their head. Let's put the pink monster to bed. Which one's the pink monster? We only have two left. Is it this one? No, that's the yellow monster. We'll save him for last, but this is the pink monster. Bed's getting crowded. How many monsters are in bed now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four monsters in bed, resting their head. What color is our last monster? Yellow. Time for monsters to rest their head. Let's put the yellow monster to bed. He's going to go at the very edge of the bed. How many monsters are in bed now? Let's count one last time together. One, two, three, four, five. Five monsters in bed, resting their head. Very good. We needed to count some monsters because we're going to count some more things in our next story. Are you ready? It's a big story. How Much is a Million? by David M. Schwartz and Pictures by Stephen Kellogg. Thank you to HarperCollins Publishers for allowing us to read this story. If one million kids climbed onto one another's shoulders, they would be taller than the tallest buildings, higher than the highest mountains. Oh, what's in this picture? An airplane and farther up than airplanes can fly. If you wanted to count from one to one million, it would take you about 23 days. If a goldfish bowl were big enough for a million goldfish, it would be large enough to hold a whale. Presto, 100 stars. Oh, can you see the stars on this page? Do you see all the dots? Each one's a star. If this book had a million tiny stars, they would fill 70 pages. Climb aboard. Oh, 70 pages? Is this just one page? That's right. Two pages of stars, three pages of stars. Can you see all the tiny dots? That's a lot of stars. Wow, lots of stars. There you have 100,000 stars. If we take this seven page journey 10 times, we'll pass a million stars. Let's do that later. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. How big is a billion? If a billion kids made a human tower, 
they would stand up past the moon. If you sat down to count from one to one billion, you would be counting for 95 years. That's a very long time. If you found a goldfish bowl large enough to hold a billion goldfish, it would be as big as a stadium. If this book had a billion tiny stars, its pages spread side by side would stretch almost 10 miles. Can you see the pages in this picture? Oh, they're stretching from here all the way down the street. That's a lot of pages. How tremendous is a trillion? If a trillion kids stood on top of each other, they would reach way, way beyond the moon. Oh, do you think they're going to reach a planet? Maybe one of the planets we talked about in January. Beyond Mars and Jupiter too, and almost as far as Saturn's rings. Saturn is one of the planets that's much farther away from Earth. If you wanted to count from one to one trillion, it would take you almost 200,000 years. If you put a trillion goldfish in a goldfish bowl, can you see the goldfish bowl in this picture? And there's a ladder going up it. What do you think is going to be in this goldfish bowl? The bowl would have to be as big as a city harbor. That'd be a pretty big fish bowl, huh? If you put a trillion of our stars onto a gigantic roll of paper, it would stretch all the way from New York to New Zealand. The end. New Zealand is very far away too, isn't it? Well, we had a story today that had to do about another mischievous monkey and his cake baking journey and trying to win a prize. But ultimately, I think he just got to eat it. Uh, probably pretty messily, but that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Then we got to put some monster friends to bed. They really need a nap, so I'm glad we got to do that together. And then we read our last story about a million, which is a very big number. We counted to just five today, but a million is much bigger. I hope you enjoyed our stories today, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. I hope you have a good week, and I will see you next Friday. Bye!